Well, hello folks. I just want to welcome you back to Mr. Cast Iron. And today what we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you how to make a bone-in ribeye. Now these bone-in ribeyes, of course it's a ribeye, it's got a bone in it. Uh, you've probably seen the tomahawk uh, ribeyes. It's got the real long rib bone on it. But these are cut and they're called a cowboy cut or a cowboy ribeye. And what we're going to do, we're going to season this real good before we get ready to... Uh, to cook this in our cast iron skillet. Now I have my own special blend here. It's just salt, pepper, and uh, onion powder. It's SPG, so to speak, in other words. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do this liberally because this is a pretty thick steak. Get that on there, and you just wanna kinda pat that in. You don't wanna rub it, cause you'll rub it off, but you just pat it in, and then we're gonna flip that over, and we're gonna do this on the other side here. Get that seasoned real good. Because it's going to cook in. And then just take you a little bit and put on your plate here. And then take and rub your fat cap with it. Or your, or your fat on the side. Get your sides real good. And uh, we've got another one here. We're going to get ready and do that. And then we're going to move over to the stove. And we're going to put it in a cast iron skillet. And we're going to grill this or cook this thing up here. We'll be right back. Okay, what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to use a little bit of avocado oil today. Now you can do this two ways. You can actually put a little bit of avocado oil on your steak if you wanted to and rub that in. Add your SPG to it. But I'm just going to add just a little bit to my skillet. We've got a uh, lodge, three notch lodge skillet here. I love using this skillet. And uh, we got it hot and ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our uh, cowboy ribeye and we're just going to lay this in. Now be sure and lay your steak in away from you when you put it in the skillet. Let it get in there and then you just kind of want to mash that steak down and let it get a good contact with your cast iron skillet. And we're going to set our timer for about three minutes and uh, what we're really looking for more than time anything is just that this gets a good sear, gets what they call a malliard effect. And so it's a good crust on the bottom of it. And uh, what you want to do, you want it to cook long enough where you can take and break it loose with your uh, tongs. If it doesn't move and doesn't come loose, then it hasn't cooked long enough. It doesn't have seared the bottom good enough. So we're going to let that do that and we'll be right back here just in a minute. And we'll flip this over, show you what this looks like. Okay, well it's been three minutes now. Like I was saying earlier, one test is to take and see if this thing moves, see how easy that moves, so we know that we have got a decent crust on it. And look at that. I mean, that is that is awesome looking right there. And so once you get it flipped over, just go ahead and kind of mash it down to where it gets a good contact with your cast iron skillet. And uh, we're gonna set our timer again for three more minutes. And uh, we'll come back here in just a minute and show you this. But anyway, uh, Teresa wanted me to tell you guys, she really wishes we had smell-o-vision because this thing smells awesome here with this salt, pepper, and garlic powder on it. So anyway, we'll go a little bit longer. We'll come back here. We're going to add a little butter to this and we're going to baste it. And uh, we'll, we'll show you what this looks like shortly. All right, well, we've got about another minute or so left on this steak. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take me a little bit of butter and just kind of melt this in here. And we'll get ready and we'll baste this steak with some butter. And uh, another thing, too, I want to do, I've got a little bit of garlic here. I'm getting ready to make me some onions and mushrooms to go along with this. But I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in with this steak. And um, what we can do... At this point, now that this is melted down, we can just take and start basting this steak with some butter on top. And we get that nut flavored color butter. Look at that. I mean, that's perfect for a steak, man. That's great flavor. You can't beat that. Now, I know a lot of people put rosemary, in, and I intended to do that, but my rosemary... Uh, had already started to turn bad, so I didn't want to do that. So we're going to do, and matter of fact, I don't always like rosemary on my steak. You guys leave me a comment and let me know if you like rosemary, garlic, and butter on your steak. But anyway, we're three more minutes into this steak. So that's a total of three on each side, six minutes. We're going to go here about another minute or so basting this. 
and then I'm gonna pull this off this thing should move yeah it moves perfect so we're good with that now that's the money shot right there look at that folks look how beautiful that is I'm gonna take my insta read thermometer and I'm just gonna poke this and see what it's running it's running about one well it's still rising 115 114 115 so we're going to let that go for just another minute or so i'd like to get it up to about 130 132 and uh, then we'll get ready and pull this off so while it's doing that since we flipped it over i'll go ahead and start to base this side as well oh this is going to be so good Teresa sure wants me to tell you how good this smells i mean it, it, i wish you could smell this from here All right, it's already jumped up to 135, 140, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this stake. And uh, we'll get ready and put this other stake in here and cook it. Look at both sides. I mean, they're, they're perfect on both sides. Okay, well, we've got our cowboy ribeye steak over here. We've let it rest. I made me some mushrooms and onions to go with it. I love mushrooms and onions with my steak. But anyway, I'm just going to cut some of this bone off here and show you what this... ribeye looks like. Look at that. Man, oh man. That's a good warm pink inside that's going to be perfect so anyway that is a perfect steak for me of ribeye you guys leave a comment and tell me how you like your steak mm. man that sure tastes so good mushrooms and onions cowboy ribeye steak folks that's how you do a bone-in ribeye